If you are building single page apps, you might be using a JavaScript framework to do so. One of the most popular frameworks is Vue. Vue is popular for being pretty lightweight, using components like most other JavaScript frameworks, and having a vibrant, active community and ecosystem of developers and tooling. In this video, we will build a sample application and make sure it is discoverable via search, so your users and people looking for your app are able to find it. We will use Vue CLI in version 3.04. We create a new application, then install Vue Router and set up two components, posts list that will list 10 posts and post detail that shows a single post. After setting up the routing and components, we have this application that roughly resembles a block pulling the posts from an API. We also enable the history API mode of the Vue Router to make sure our URLs are proper URLs instead of abusing the fragment identifier to show different views. Let's look at what we can improve in this application for SEO. First things first. To make our post more findable and more relevant in search results, we should give each page a descriptive, helpful title and description. Those two things will show up in the search results and help users identify the best result for what they are looking for. To give all our views meaningful metadata, we will use the view meta utility. It allows us to set the title and meta description of our post list view to something meaningful and use an excerpt of the post and its title as the meta description and title for the post detail view as well. Note that ideally we would have some summary or key takeaways for each post, but in this case we are just going to put the first 100 characters from the post in the description instead. 100 is an arbitrarily chosen number of characters. Meta descriptions aren't restricted in length. When we put this into the mobile friendly test, we see our meta description and title show up in the code, and that means we will see them in the search results as well. But there's even more we can do to both bots and users. We can make sure our content arrives with an initial HTML sent to the client without having to wait for JavaScript to execute. As we explained in the previous videos, Googlebot does two waves of indexing. In the first wave, we crawl your page and index the content we find but we do not execute JavaScript due to resource constraints. Eventually, and unless you tell us not to, we will do a second wave of indexing where we execute your JavaScript and index your content again. But if you have a large site or lots of frequently changing content, this might not be optimal. A way around this is pre-rendering or server-side rendering. Vue has extensive documentation and tooling for this. Alternatively, you may consider doing dynamic rendering, which we provide some documentation for as well. I also recommend watching the other videos from this series for more SEO tips and tricks for single page apps in JavaScript. Also, in the next episode, we will be discussing dynamic rendering. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel.